In this presentation, we're going to look at a deferred or prepaid expense account. And we're going to do it in terms of a long-term asset. And we're going to reduce that asset by a contra account. So let's assume here that we go out and we purchase a long-term asset, which is an asset on the balance sheet. <coughs> Say, for example, here we purchase a machine which has a long life and say it costs one hundred thousand dollars and just for this example uh, we're gonna pay for it in cash so we debit the long-term asset under the machine here for one hundred thousand dollars and then the corresponding credit account would be to cash since we paid for it here and we credit which is a minus amount so that reduces cash now as this machine is used throughout the years we have to uh, reduce its value because it wears out. So we do that through a contra account here. We call it accumulated depreciation. And what this accumulated depreciation does, it takes and it assesses or it allocates for each period the usage of that machine. So this machine here is going to depreciate in value. It's going to decrease in value and we do it through this contra account which we'll talk about later and the contra account accumulated depreciation is charged off against a depreciation expense account here it's part of net income on the income statement so what we're trying to do here is uh, we've went out and we bought this machine and we paid for it in advance here so and as the years wear on, the months wear on here, we have to allocate some of the, the wear down or the usage of this machine because it wears out. So we take the goods and services used. In this case, it was a machine depreciated at $500 a month. So we look at the timeline here. I just picked one out here. We got March through October timeline and we're allocating or we're expensing off $500 a month on that machine. So we allocate and we expense it here to the depreciation account. So let's go look here at this uh, contra account. Uh, the machine costs $100,000 and each month we're depreciating $500 of it. So we want to reduce that $100,000 by $500 per month. So what we, we do it not directly to the asset account here but we do it through a contra account. We call it accumulated depreciation in this case. And if you look carefully at it, the asset account has a debit plus amount, which in increases the amount. And in the um, contra account or the accumulated depreciation account, we have a debit minus. And same with the asset account, a credit minus. Accumulated depreciation is a credit plus. So what we do each period is we charge off or we increase accumulated depreciation. And in those terms, if you put these, look at these two T accounts, this, you add them together here, you're going to see that the $100,000 and whatever is sitting over here in the credit um, reduces the balance on that machine. So it wears out over time. And again, this accumulated depreciation goes over here as the asset is consumed each month and it goes into depreciation expense. So if we got a credit plus an accumulated depreciation, we have $500 per month, we use the debit plus amount here in depreciation expense. So what we're doing, we're looking here at the long-term asset and we're looking at the difference between what we might call a short-term asset, something under a year, like, for example, if we have a um, prepaid expense on some consumable, we uh, look at it and, and we reduce the asset, the asset directly. In this case, on these long-term assets, we don't do it directly. We do it through a contra account on the balance sheet. So that's about how uh, the contra account works on uh, essentially a prepaid asset or an asset that we paid in advance and that we reduce or uh, reduce that asset each period by means of this contra account. That's it.